Um, so yeah, we're here to talk about, you know, your uh, bid for re-election today. Um, you kind of talk about, I guess, why are you, you know, running for re-election, you know, this go around? You've been in the, you know, a state representative for several years now. Why, why are you deciding to continue on this path? Well, we have uh, quite a bit of unfinished business as state representative, particularly in the last year. We've had some great successes, uh, but there's still work that needs to be done, particularly when it comes to border security. You know, it was about, it was a little bit more than a year ago when Joe Biden announced that he's going to... Sorry. If we want to start our work. Yeah, th let me do that. I have unfinished business in the Texas House of Representatives. We have made tremendous headway in the last year, but there are some jobs that need to be done, and I'm really focused on three right now. One, we have to secure the border. A year ago, Joe Biden announced that he is basically going to refuse to do the job. So in Texas, we have stepped up and we have allocated $2.9 billion to border security efforts. We have 10,000 state troopers and National Guardsmen on the Rio Grande, and we are constructing a Texas border wall right now. I'm not going to stop fighting until the Texas border is secure. Also, the Green New Deal has been attempting to come to Texas, and I have been the champion of killing Green New Deal proposals at the Texas Capitol over the last year, and I want to continue to be a state rep from the Permian Basin who stands up and says no to Green New Deal proposals. Uh, the third thing that I'm really focused on is we need to scrap the STAR standardized test. That's something that uh, we need tremendous reform and, and repeal of. Uh, we had tremendous headway in the Texas House last year. It didn't pass the finish line in the Texas Senate, but that's also something that, uh, that I want to make sure that we get done is slashing the STAR exam. And so, you know, you're running against, you know, Casey Gray, you know, what kind of separates you from him in this race, you know, for state representative? Well, I'm the candidate in the, it, excuse me, I am the candidate in the race who has a proven conservative record, uh, a proven record of fighting for West Texas, whether it comes to killing the Green New Deal, whether it comes to securing the border, whether it comes to making sure that we have reforms to the STAR exam. Second pickup. Probably will. Yeah. We'll want to start over, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm the only, sorry. That's all good. I'm the only candidate in this race with a pr proven, <laughs> now I'm in my head. <laughs> I am the only candidate in this race with a proven conservative record, whether it comes to doing what it takes to secure the border here in Texas, uh, whether it comes to killing the Green New Deal, or whether it makes, uh, whether it comes to making uh, modifications to the STAR standardized testing requirements. Uh, I'm the one who uh, has a proven record of success at the Texas Capitol, and I'm going to build on that success to continue fighting for the people of West Texas. Absolutely. And, you know, you've been, you know, this is uh, what number term would this be if you were to be elected? Uh, so I'm, I'm currently in my fourth two-year term. Okay, so this would be your fifth term. Mm -hmm. You know, you've been, you know, in this, obviously you've been in this position for eight years now. Mm -hmm. You know, what are some things that you would, you know, now that you have this experience, what are some of the things that you'd like to do maybe a little bit differently, you know, kind of looking back on your time yeah. as a rep? Well, one thing that I'm particularly proud of is we have had unmet infrastructure needs here in the Permian Basin. When I came into office, we were only spending, sorry, one thing that I'm particularly proud of is making sure that the state of Texas pays attention to our infrastructure needs here in the Permian Basin. In the four years before I took office, TxDOT was only spending about $50 million per year on average here in the 12 counties that make up the Permian Basin. In the three years since I've been named the vice chair of the Transportation Committee, TxDOT is now spending more than $360 million per year on average on highways and bridges and roads here in the Permian Basin. That's infrastructure improvements that uh, is important for industry, but more importantly, it's saving lives. I'm very proud of that, and that's something that uh, I want to continue doing. I've proven that I can get that type of, uh, of investment made at the Capitol, and I think it's important for the people of West Texas that we continue to build on what we've built, uh, to continue to build on that progress. Now, you've talked about, you know, you know, obviously the big thing is securing our southern border. Mm -hmm. You know, you've mentioned the Green New Deal, start testing, those are things that you've been working on, you know. Mm -hmm. We've talked in the past about the issue with high levels of radioactive waste coming to, mm -hmm. uh, you know, potentially coming to Texas and Governor Abbott's, you know, and your stance against that. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the other big, you know, issues involve, you know, the grid mm -hmm. and, you know, the, the issue of seismicity out here. You right. know, is there anything that you plan to do, 
you know, to kind of address those concerns if, if elected again for another term? Well, absolutely. You know, the uh, making sure that we have a fixed grid, a secure grid uh, for the state of Texas is also uh, an, an agenda item that's near the top of my list. So much of our power is generated here in the Permian Basin. We're doing our job and I want to make sure that when we have uh, natural gas that fuels uh, power generation plants across the state, that that electricity actually gets to the consumers. We have made tremendous headway in the last year in getting our grid fixed. I think we're very close, but we're not quite there. And that's something that I want to see through to its completion because the people of Texas deserve better than what they got in February of 2021. And I think we have the capability of making our grid secure. And I want to make the last few changes that will be necessary to do that. Uh, seismicity issues are an increasing problem here in the Permian Basin. I have addressed this issue uh, with the Railroad Commission when it comes to uh, saltwater disposal wells, making sure that they're permitted in locations that make sense instead of along some of the fault lines that we have here in the Permian Basin. Uh, there's a way that we can balance uh, the safety of our communities, the safety of our people here in West Texas uh, with uh, our great reputation of being uh, the best energy producers uh, in North America and increasingly in the world. We have to strike that balance. There's a way to do that. And I want to continue to lead on that effort uh, and cooperate with the Railroad Commission to get that done.